It is time. There shall be no more distractions. It must be done. No longer shall people look at this house and be like, damn, is that a giant light bulb? For today, we are completing this paper house. And to begin with, I'm gonna fill in the walls. Okay, so I've just gone and used most of my wood to craft a bunch of walls, around almost 900. I'm not sure if it's gonna be enough, but I guess we'll see. Okay, so I know I just said that there would be no more distractions that, that would stop me from completing this paper house. But like, there is something that I want to do before I finish building this house. And that's to build some like little NPC houses underground so that while I'm building the paper house, they can hopefully spawn in. Okay, so I'm just going to create a few simple NPC housing. Obviously when I finish the paper house, I'm probably going to move the NPCs into the actual house. But for now, I'll just, I'll just let them move into here while I'm building the house so that they can come in while they can spawn in while I'm building the house and I don't have to wait for them to spawn in later. Anyway, now to get back onto building the house. Now, I probably don't have enough wood to craft enough walls to finish filling in the walls of the, the eye of the paper, so I'm probably going to have to cut some more trees down. But it's night time and I don't really want to be going and cutting down trees during the night as it's quite dark and there are a lot of zombies and demon eyes outside so I'm probably going to end up dying so probably going to wait until morning now go cut down some trees and then hopefully finish the peeper eye. Okay so I've just cut down a bunch of trees and then crafted a bunch of walls 1032 to be exact and now to fill in the eye. Okay, so it seems like I may have gone a bit overboard with crafting walls, but I've basically filled in all of the uh, eye of the peeper now, and basically filled in most of the most of the walls for the peeper house. So now I'm just gonna probably tidy up this peeper house, remove all the dirt scaffolding, remove all the walls that I accidentally placed outside of my house, and just fill in any gaps like that one over there. So yeah. Okay, so that's basically the body of the peeper completed, and now all I have to do is add the details such as the fins and stuff. That's one fin down, that's the other fin, there's the beak, that's one of the tail fins, and there's the final tail fin. Now all that's left to do is to fill in the walls of the fins. And there we go, the peeper house is basically completed. There's only one slight problem. Peepers? They're not brown. They're blue with yellow and black eyes. But to get that, I'm probably gonna have to paint the walls. And to get paint, I need to get the painter NPC. And I just searched up how to get the painter NPC, and you need eight other NPCs in your world for the painter to spawn. So I guess I need to build more NPC housing then. And there's four more NPC housing. So while I wait for NPCs to spawn, I may as well go looking for some better equipment, some better armor and better tools because right now I still have some really bad copper stuff. And I don't know how I didn't notice this before, but this whole time I could have crafted a wooden sword or even a cactus sword and it would have been better than my copper short sword. So I'm going to craft that now while I'm here. I may as well craft a wooden bow as well. And with all that, with all that materials that I've mined up from mining out all of this and all of the wood, I can craft a bunch of arrows as well, and I may as well turn some of them into flaming arrows. So to get better equipment, there's two ways that I can do it. I can either go down my, my elevator, or I could explore to the sides of my world. The problem with going down to my elevator though is um, I have no way to get down because I had no ropes at the time, so that basically rules out that option. But the other option, which is to explore both sides of my world, is that if you take a look at this, both sides of my world, 
Yeah, there is. There's corruption. I mean, there's crimson on both sides of my world. And there's not a single cave on either side. Which means, to get better equipment, I'm going to have to run through the corruption and hopefully find a cave on the other side. But, of course, it's night time right now, and I don't really want to be exploring at night time, as I've said many times before. So, I guess I'll just wait till daytime, and then I'll have to face the corrupt, the crimson. So, it was at this point where my audio cut out, but here's a basic rundown of what happened. First, I waited till daytime and travelled to the crimson. I had this big brain plan to build a massive platform over it so that I could travel past the crimson without anything attacking me. It was going well at first, but then monsters started spawning on the platform, and I'd also completely forgotten about the flying monsters as well. So that didn't go so well. But then, to make matters worse, the crimson monsters were somehow at my house and I respawned. I tried to fight them off, and died again. But all was not lost, because that was when I realised the merchant sold ropes. This meant I could use my elevator to upgrade my gear, and so I used the rope to travel down my elevator and then began searching for a good cave, and then my audio came back. I think I might have actually found a big cave, so let's see what it has. Didn't mean to do that, but actually, I'm going to harvest this, because this could actually have some good stuff. Gems, and if I can get enough gems, I might be able to craft a, a grappling hook, and that'll be good. Oh yeah, I want to, I definitely want to pick up the gem corn, but I need to get rid of something. Oh yeah, no, I, I purchased the, um, a piggy, back, a piggy bank from the merchant, so I could have some room to store stuff. Oh no, please. No. Don't die here, I, I need... I don't want to lose my piggy bank. Just never in doubt. Alright. As you can see, I've already put some money in there. Anyway, I can put all this junk that I have in here. So, I got a life crystal. That's good, because I need health. I should probably remember to use that though. Pick oh no. Anyway, I'm going to pick up this piggy bank before I forget. And then kill this red slime. And then, okay, and then I'm going to actually use my life crystal. There you go, now I have 120 health. Okay, so I think I may have just found a mushroom biome. So there's a bit of emerald here, I think. I should probably grab that. That will be good. Anyway, mushroom biomes, I'm pretty sure they have some good loot. So I'm definitely going to go check it out and hope that it has good loot. There is a lot of, seems to be a lot of mobs here though. So I have to be careful. I think I may have found my first chest. Oh, with water walking boots. This is good. Oh, I need to get rid of something. Oh no, I'm about to drown. This is not good. Quick, run, run. No, no, please. Also getting chased by a jellyfish. No, no. I gotta get, I gotta breathe. Okay, good. Only half my health. Well, that's unfortunate. I think I might end the video there. As you can see during that mining trip, a few NPCs have moved in, so that's good. It's good progress. Anyway, bye.